Hey, my name is William Hodge. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm the owner of this 1969 Camaro. got me into cars was my uh, my family. My dad and my brother built a 67 Mustang for his first car when I was 10 years old. And watching them build that car made me want one of my own. So I got this as my first car. I wanted a Camaro, a little bit of sibling rivalry with him having a Mustang. So when I was 13 years old, uh, actually on my birthday, my parents left the birthday party with a bunch of 13 year old kids at the house and they went and bought this car unbeknownst to me. So I found it in one of those, uh, it's called a Thrifty Nickel Classified back in 97. And as soon as we got it, it was, uh, it was, all, it was originally Hugger Orange. But it was primer gray when we got it, had black interior, and it was a f numbers matching 307 three-speed car, single exhaust, plain Jane base model. So I, as I was going through high school, I put a 355 and a four-speed in it. I started reading some car magazines and what caught my eye was was the mule, Mark Stilo's mule. And uh, I decided at that moment I wanted to build a pro touring car. Knowing that I wanted a pro touring car, uh, probably one of the first pieces I picked up was uh, the Quadrilink system in about 2009. Um, after we got that in the car, I decided I wanted the complimentary front suspension, so I got the, the DSC Hydroform subframe. And basically from there, I spent the next nine to 10 years collecting parts as we went. Uh, basically have the full complement DSC catalog in the car as well as a bunch of other performance parts. And uh, after, after 10 years of build, I, I took it to the first LS Fest in 2017. Powering this car is a Texas Speed and Performance 427 short block. It's got a Dragon Slayer crank and billet rods, forged pistons. Above that, it's Mass Racing LS3 midport heads with the RCI billet runner intake. Going from there, M2K Motorsports in Houston, Texas built a custom turbo kit which uses all tile components, tile wastegates, tile BOVs, and tile housed GT35Rs. Uh, custom, custom front mount intercoolers on top of the auto rad, and that's backed up by a spec Super Street twin disc and a Transilla billet magnum. The motor was built to handle 25 plus pounds of boost to make about 1500 horsepower. Uh, right now as we're working the power up, we're about 15 pounds, taking it kind of easy on E85 as we learn it and uh, that's what's making about 850 right now. To finish up the Pro Touring look, I decided to go with Forge Line as they're kind of the pinnacle for performance. I've got the uh, Forge Line GA3 in a titanium with brush lip, 18 by nine and a half in front, 18 by 12s in the back with BFG Rival S's, 275s in the front and 335s in the back. I got the wheels from DV8 Motoring, Tony Watley, and the brakes are W6A and W4A Willwoods. What made me choose Detroit Speed was this is my first car. I got this car when I was 13 and I plan to have it my entire life. So I wanted to make sure the parts I got were the best available on the market. And if it took me a while to save up to get them, I just did it. I don't ever plan to get rid of this car. I plan to keep it forever.